Well, good afternoon, everybody, from Riverbend Park here in Great Falls, Virginia. Christine had a wonderful idea of uh, how we could spend our Labor Day weekend. And we're out here on the Potomac River enjoying a nice canoe ride. Let's give you a look around. As you can see, the uh, Emma and Christine are doing a great job steering us. This is a very calm stretch of the river here, and it's not real deep either. I venture that if I were to jump out, I could probably touch the bottom fairly easily. We have a very mild current. Emma, are you doing okay? Yeah. You scared? No. All right. We are seeing... That's the one who's scared because she's sick. Well, the great thing about this place is that you can just kind of cruise around like this, and if you want, you can you can stop and get out anywhere. Well, you don't There's a lot of little islands. You can have lunch. You can just kind of kick back. Um, I'm trying to think of a place where I can let Emma get out here and just go for a swim, and we can drag her by the canoe. I'm just not gonna do it. <laughs> All right. Ah, dragonfly! Jerry, tell them what they're doing. Jerry, tell them what they're doing. Oh my, look at this. Okay, I think Emma's getting a little nervous out here. I told her not to be. Uh, she's just got to remain calm. Paddle steadily and ignore the dragonflies. There are a lot of them out here. We're told that if we look carefully, we'll see eagles and uh, a lot of ducks. There's a lot of animals out here right now. It's why just beautiful I, and it's yeah, quiet. Jerry, why do I have to okay, as a lot of you know, the Potomac River has a lot of history behind it. And uh, oh, there's a nice heron. See the heron skimming the water? Yeah. Look at that. He just went behind us. So what's interesting about this is to the left is Virginia, right on that side, and to our immediate right is Maryland. So you get to cruise through uh, two states. Okay, we've encountered some other boners here off to the port side, and they appear to be fishing. I think they are, yeah. Yeah. And from what we hear from the Park Service, there's a lot to catch out here. They look like friendly types. You're doing a good job, Emma. Okay. Somebody splashed me on the face. It was a I fish. It was a did. fish. It was I a did. fish. Yes. Sorry, honey. Good now. Okay, land ho. Looks like a swampy area. This is where the Continental Army used to hide from the Brits. Okay, Emma is under the impression that we are paddling our way to Paris. Emma, is there anything that you're seeing around here that reminds you of Paris? The Eiffel Tower. You see the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> well, we have a number of boats on the river here, but I would hardly say it's crowded. There's plenty of room here. Plenty of room for everybody. Well, how much... Wait, we're, at, we're going on a boat for three hours. We're going on a boat for three days. What? We're sleeping on this boat tonight. We're not doing it. I'm getting out here. <laughs> Guys, I'm getting out here. All right. There's an old saying, man overboard. <laughs> Make room for Emma. She's going overboard. Heave to. Oh, we'll not have a mutiny here. My name is Captain Bly. All right, the crew's been getting ugly. I sense a mutiny, so I've, I've I've directed that we return to base. Let everybody cool off a little bit here. We still have a considerable number of boats around us, but so far everything's peaceful. Oh, a butterfly right on Mama's shirt. Emma just flew away. You missed it. It was a beautiful red one. Roll, roll for your lives. Put your box into it. <laughs> There'll be no grub for you if you don't throw, Seaman. You understand that? Now you but must you row. Is, Emma? There's no grub and no rum. <laughs> <laughs> well. Well. 
get up. We'll get up. Suddenly, after being on the water for about 35 minutes, Emma wants out. She wants to sit on the beach and get a suntan. I don't know. Oh, we just ran right over. Oh my gosh, I thought it was an alligator. We got in the water at about 11.40. Why are you not rowing? By the way, it's only $18 for three hours for the rental of a canoe or a kayak, so it's a pretty good deal. Didn't we pay that for like an hour or three late? I can't remember. There's a little girl on the, on the shore. She's trapped, Emma. I see a red dot. Okay. Well, welcome everybody. It's now almost 12:30. We've had this boat for uh, just a little less than an hour, and uh, Christy decided to take a little bit of break. She's going to go back to the car, and she's going to get some food she brought, some Subway sandwiches for herself and for Emma. Uh, as for me, I'm just going to feast on an apple. That's what pirates do. <laughs> Stop that attitude. <laughs> so. Emma is out now our videographer as we, as we cruise towards Maryland here on the Potomac. Now, I'll say this, we've encountered some rather large hawks, but more than anything, a lot of mosquitoes on the surface. Way too many mosquitoes. And the closer you get to the shore, the more mosquitoes there are. In fact, right now, Emma, we can see a whole bunch of them right out here. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, you see them, folks? If you look very carefully, you'll see them dancing on the surface of the water. Here's some. Yeah. Now, the other good news today is that, if you'll notice, now I am paddling upstream, and the water is actually pretty calm today. So there is a current, but it's very, very light. So I don't know what it would be like once we get further upstream. Camera over here, please, ma'am. Thank you very much. <laughs> She's not used to dealing with, you know, TV news people. But anyways, we <laughs> have a camera. So there are certain areas. <laughs> Come on, Emma, get a hold of yourself. So there are certain areas we can go, little islands, for example, where I'm going to pull up and I'll have Emma get off the boat and stand on the island so I can take a picture of you. No, I'm not going to do it. You're not going to do it? No. I thought right over here would be perfect. Show our viewers these islands over here. Videotape them, Emma. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Run for your life, my matey. Okay, now right Run now, I see two really large hawks. Emma, straight up there. See them? Uh-huh. Look at them. Whoa. They're beautiful. They're looking Camera cool. down. Turn it off. Turn it off. All right, folks, that's what happens when you don't pay for a professional videographer. <laughs> uh, no offense, Emma. Emma, the current has turned the boat around. Get us out of here. I'm turning it. You turn us around? Well, where are we going? We're going to Virginia State. Hey, wait a second. I know exactly where we're going. Stand by. <laughs> okay, Emma, I just want you to know, this is the house that I bought for us. And your bed is right here in front. It's not amazing to me. Well, it's you... Amazing to me. Look at the fireplace inside, huh? Emma, this is how people lived. Oh, oh no. Well, here's an example of a kind of canoe the Indians used to make. They called it sort of a dugout canoe. Something was actually hollowed out, right, Emma? Take it off camera. <laughs> okay, well, that's a wrap from Riverbend Park here in Great Falls. Fantastic scenery, fantastic place to go rowboating, canoeing, kayaking. <laughs> To catch, uh, catch some time with the paparazzi, you got to watch it. They are really, really active today. It's, uh, good hiking trails, just uh, tremendous scenery. And again, the current on the, on the river is really, really great. It just uh, doesn't tug at you at all. It's easy to go upstream and downstream and back to this park here. So uh, when you come out, Riverbend Park, great place to see Virginia and Maryland as you're cruising down the Potomac. Aloha. Hi -ha.